Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to install uh, Apache Kafka, which is a distributed publish subscribe messaging system on Ubuntu operating system. So it is going to be a step by step uh, uh, approach to install the Apache uh, Kafka on Ubuntu operating system. Uh, let's get started. So I taken the all the installation steps uh, uh, in my notepad. So we are going to follow these uh, steps. So for this, first we'll uh, um, uh, the prerequisite for uh, Apache Kafka is uh, you should install the uh, Java on your machine. So Java is the mandatory uh, to have it, right? So uh, I hope you can actually uh, uh, check this uh, uh, Java iPhone uh, version command to check whether Java is installed or you can also check uh, uh, echo dollar uh, Java home. So if, if Java home is already set, you can just uh, run this command, open a terminal by using a shortcut called control T halt, or you can click on the terminal icon to open the terminal. Just run this echo command. So, so Java home is set. My Java 8, I'm using open JDK Java or you can use uh, Oracle Java as well. It is installed on this location. Uh, I can also verify by using the Java version command. So it is installed with the Java 1.8.0 underscore the minor, so minor version 3. Point, uh, uh, sorry, 382, okay. So so Java is installed. So that's a prerequisite for uh, installing Apache Kafka. Now let's go to this URL, uh, kafka.apache.org slash downloads page. Uh, you can just open a browser and put this URL. So this is the uh, official uh, Apache Kafka um, um, website and this, this pay web page is for uh, downloading your binaries, which is like the uh, framework or software, Kafka software. So it is built on uh, uh, um, two different version of uh, Scala. So uh, Kafka is actually uh, uh, some of the part is uh, uh, written in uh, Java and some part is uh, written in Scala. So uh, I don't know exactly what are the uh, functionalities which is written in Scala and uh, uh, Java. So Scala is being a JVM programming language. So so we need to have a JVM. And uh, so this Scala, uh, see this Kafka is uh, pre-built on two different uh, version of Scala, the major versions like uh, 2.12 and 2.13. So since I installed uh, Scala 2.12, uh, I'm going to use this binary file, okay? So uh, uh, so if you want to know uh, how to install the Scala uh, 2.12, please uh, refer my previous video, uh, which is uh, installing Apache uh, Spark on Ubuntu operating system. In that I installed, uh, um, in that uh, installation steps, I've also installed the Scala 2.12. So if you are actually wish to have a, a uh, Scala 2.13 and install Kafka, uh, which is pre-built on 2.13. Uh, I'm I'm good, so you can do you can go and um, uh, proceed with that. So since I installed the Scala 2.12, I'm going to make use of this binary file. So right-click and copy this uh, uh, address link, or you can manually download as well. So I'm going to I copied this link and uh, I have this uh, link. So I just check uh, your location. So this is my um, um, uh, uh, location where I'm currently. So I'm in home folder of uh, uh, home directory. Okay, so uh, my user home directory. Uh, my username is data making. So I'm going to use the wget utility to download this file. Okay, so wget utility is to download the remote files. So you can provide the HTTP URL of your file and uh, enter. So so it is around 108 MB of uh, uh, file size, this binary file. So based on your internet bandwidth, it will take some time. Okay, so, so just we'll wait for some time. Uh, this Let's get this downloaded. So uh, next step would be like uh, extracting this binary file. So it is in uh, T, uh, T uh, G and uh, Z, okay, or uh, ZVC uh, format, which is like one of the compression format, right? You can use the tar command to extract that file. Okay, that's what we are going to do in the next step. So yeah, it is downloaded here. 
so it is in my home directory right so i am managing all my software under uh, uh, software folder okay so the software folder is uh, 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 home data making work area software so this is my um, uh, software folder okay so so either you can go to that location and download it now I download in home directory so what I'm going to do is uh, um, I'll just uh, put this command um, after okay after I'll just put the move command so see, we have it here move uh, the file name is this right so take this file and then which location you want to move to this location so just check this location is exist so you can place it wherever you want so your wish so I'm I'm going to put it on this location so run this move command to move this file yeah this is got moved now go to this location so just clearing screen and uh, checking whether the file is copied uh, yeah so kafka underscore 2.12 iPhone 3.6.0 so we are installing the Kafka version 3.6.0 which is pre-built on the <coughs> 2.12 Scala version okay I'm good now so let's extract this file using the tar command <coughs> so just do ls so Kafka is extracted here so this will be our Kafka installation folder okay so just uh, go to Kafka so this is my now Kafka installation folder so I'm going to set the <coughs> Kafka home uh, environment variable with the Kafka installation folder just make sure this path is correct that's the one thing we need to verify yeah it's good so just open dot bash rc file which is a profile file for uh, respective individual users so you can okay so you can run using the you can modify this uh, file and uh, put this kafka op so i'm using nano editor to modify this file right so just uh, use the page down to come to the bottom of the file and paste this uh, two lines so here what i'm doing is uh, exporting this environment variable with the path and adding that uh, environment variable to the path variable okay this uh, simple step we do here and then Control O to modify it, enter, updated, control X to come out of it. So you can also <coughs> verify this, uh, uh, sorry, you can refresh this profile file using the source command that is done. So now there is some uh, configuration steps we need to do. Uh, that is uh, making the Kafka as a service, uh, Linux service so for that we need to do a few steps and before that i want to modify one property in the kafka configuration folder uh, server.properties there is a file called server.properties let's go to this location so cd uh, two okay i typed cd2 twice okay so let's clear the screen do lslrt so there is a file called uh, server.properties just open this file using nano editor okay i am going to put this i i'm actually by default uh, when you create a kafka topic kafka topic is nothing but topic is topic in kafka is nothing but uh, like table in database so that's where the data will be stored okay so in database we store our relational data in table right uh, in the form of rows and columns similarly in kafka it is you can think of as a table which uh, stores your uh, data so <coughs> so uh, you can see create a kafka topic you can uh, by default you cannot delete the topic so i am changing i am putting this property so that uh, we can delete the topic as well so let's uh, um, uh, go to you can put uh, anywhere if you want uh, just put in the end of the file I'm just putting this entry so delete dot topic dot enable equal to true uh, just control o enter updated exit 
okay now a uh, few more step is uh, pending one is so kafka is uh, 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 using the zookeeper for the coordination between uh, different processes okay so uh, for that we need to uh, we have a, 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 a zookeeper is part of uh, um, kafka uh, built itself kafka um, pioneer itself it has so we are going to make use of that uh, zookeeper uh, component which is embedded in the kafka so we need to create a service file for zookeeper to start the uh, zookeeper related uh, zookeeper related services uh, so i am going to create this uh, zookeepers zookeeper dot service in the etc system d and inside system folder uh, this is a service file we are creating so it's a simple linux service file where uh, you can put a uh, uh, unit uh, uh, I don't know what it is called, so I will just say annotation, uh, annotation and service annotation and install annotation. So in this unit annotation, you just say um, um, just say require after. In the service, basically on using which user you want to start the Zookeeper uh, processes. Basically, we need to start this uh, uh, command, run this command Zookeeper server dot start, which will start the Zookeeper related processes. So it uh, needs a Java because all our based JVM based uh, components. So we are exporting this uh, Java environment variable. Uh, same thing we do for Kafka as well. So we are creating a Kafka service. The important thing to po note here is we are starting the Kafka server. And before starting the Kafka service, we need to start the Zookeeper. So that's one of the mandatory things. Uh, so we just saying, uh, a require is uh, Zookeeper service. So whenever you start a Kafka service, make sure you start at a Zookeeper service prior to that. Uh, uh, that's it. Uh, okay, so let's do that. Um, okay, let's go here. Just open this using nano editor. Um, open this, uh, create this file. It is prompting for password or my user, and I just copy paste. So make sure this path is, paths are correct, so otherwise you will get an error. So make sure this is. I'll just put a one more terminal window. I just check yeah, this path is correct, and uh, this property file path also. Let's do that. Just may, for just for otherwise you get error. Then we have to modify. Uh, why you want to do that so uh, let's uh, check it prior to that itself before that so i think this is all good i'm going to copy this part and paste it on that file so i paste it here uh, horror goods control o save it so next is we are creating a uh, uh, service file for uh, kafka service so again you put it here and just make sure Java uh, path also correct. That's also a very important thing to verify. Okay, Java is path is correct. And I am putting this, I'm checking this file is exist. Kafka server, Kafka, uh, Kafka server start.sh. That is also path also, that path also correct. Uh, server dot properties. So let's run this. This is also exist. Good. Uh, this is a log file we will create. So it, this will not be exist. So uh, just make sure that the path is correct. So good. And then this one, last one. OK, all are good. So now copy this. Yes, store here. Control O, Control X. So we created both the service file. So as I mentioned, first we need to start the Zookeeper service. So let's start the Zookeeper service by running sudo systemctl start Zookeeper. So just run a JPS command. So you will see quorum peer main. This is the process for Zookeeper. I think it's good. Now let's run the Kafka service as well. 
so same system uh, pseudo system ctl start kafka so this will start uh, kafka process uh, so so this is also started so both uh, kafka and uh, um, zuki press running okay so you can so basically the zookeeper uh, rpc port is default port is 2. Point, uh, sorry 21 uh, 2181 it's 2181 so you can verify by running this command so netstat -an uh, to the grub of uh, port number uh, 2181 so this is uh, running you see it's listening on this port and similarly for uh, kafka the default rpc port is 9092 you can run this command just to verify so these two are running perfect now we can there are other steps to uh, verify your kafka installation like uh, one is verifying the service so zookeeper service is uh, active and running and similarly you can check kafka service uh, this is also uh, good um, active and running um, then you can we tested all this if you want to stop and start services you can just uh, those try those commands uh, i will also <coughs> try to create a, just uh, um, i'll just try to create a topic and uh, describe the topic so remaining uh, and uh, try to list the topic uh, producing the data to the topic and uh, consuming it part we'll see in the later uh, uh, video okay so so to create a topic so we there is a file called kafka even topics.sh will be make you see make you sing of this file and pass the required parameter to create the uh, uh, topic this topic is nothing but as i mentioned table in a database so 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 iphen create is a one property then followed by our option uh, i would say option if using the iphen create option and provide the topic name using the iphen iphen topic and uh, this is the bootstrap server bootstrap server is nothing but uh, your uh, you need to give the kafka broker with its default port number a uh, port number basically i'm using a default port number you can change the port number as well so bootstrap server is nothing but kafka broker or kafka server so we need to give localhost colon 9092 okay so run this command so this will create a kafka topic so it says create a topic input topic you can also describe this topic using iphone iphone describe option so this way the topic and the bootstrap server so just run this command so so i given i created a input topic i was trying to describe the output topic which is not created so it says output topic does not exist as expected okay so just change this to input okay so the topic is uh, input topic is created uh, it is created with uh, uh, one partition and one replication factor we will discuss about uh, what is this partition what is replication factor uh, in the coming of uh, videos so i think we are good so we last uh, uh, command to check is a list of topics in this uh, bootstrap server uh, kafka broker so iphone iphone list and provide the bootstrap so we created only one topic which is the <coughs> input hyphen topic so it is there um i hope this uh, video is helpful for you to understand how to install uh, apache kafka on uh, ubuntu operating system and also i given the detailed uh, uh, explanation about the installation steps if you have a, if you face any challenge or any issues please post it on uh, comment section of this video i am happy to help you thank you so much friend uh, pass on this information to your friends to help uh, large learning community thank you so much